Hey what's up YouTube, in this video I'll be showing you how to make your very own modern apartment complex. The apartment complex has a pool, a communal patio area, a reception and also a gym. Oh and also we of course have plenty of apartments and I'm going to show you how to make the apartments themselves in different styles. I'll show you different layouts that you can have different color schemes. And I'll even show you how to make as many different apartments as you possibly could require. I mean, you could even build this thing up to the sky limit if you wanted to. Imagine how long it would take you to get to your apartment if you lived on the top floor. If you were on like floor number 100. It might take a while to get up here, but it certainly doesn't take long to get down. If you enjoyed this tutorial, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. And without any further ado, we shall get started. This is the amount of space required to make your build a 29 by 27 block area as represented by the white concrete grid on the ground which I would always recommend making if you are planning out your city. It can only help. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your apartment building. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of that stuff, we can get started. If you have made the grid, come all the way to the front left hand corner of it. Count backwards from the corner, one, two, three, four, five, six, and then right by one. This is the starting position. Begin by placing four smooth quartz on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Grab Smooth quartz stairs and place eight of them going right upside down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We then want to place a grey concrete on the end. And then we want to extend that grey concrete, number one, down to the ground. And a number two to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Connect that back down to the ground as well. And then take a sideways view and extend the grey concrete. I suppose the grey concrete that we extended to the right before we connected down extended this backwards by 13. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Which you can then extend down to the ground like this. We then want to take that 13th block and we want to extend it to the right by 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And then join it down. We want to add an additional row of grey concrete inwards in relation to the previous row that we just extended down to the ground. And then using smooth quartz block we want to extend the newly made row all the way over to the right and then forwards. It will join all the way back to where we first started. Believe it or not, this is about as difficult as it gets in making each individual floor. This is the outline and it is very easily turned into a floor. So now that we have done this, let's start adding some details. So the first thing that we're going to do is we're just going to extend this entire row of smooth quartz backwards. So the left side, just extend it all the way back to create a solid wall, just like this. On the front of the building, the left side is where the apartments are. If we come to the very first block that we ever placed and count backwards, we're looking for the fourth block in. So this would be the first, second, third, and then fourth. We then want to mark this out with an oak plank, leave a gap of two, oak plank, a gap of three, one, two, three, and then oak plank. And then we want to extend the oak planks up by two, one, two, one, two, one, two, just like this, okay? So on this ground level, these are just windows. I'm going to dig underneath these windows, place oak planks in there, glass pane in between the rows of oak planks, like this. And we want windows rising up to the top of where we have the oak planks. The actual floor 
dividers are directly above this. It's basically where the upside down quartz stairs are, which are of course here. So to divide the floors up, all we have to do is place rows of smooth quartz like this and we will have rows of smooth quartz through every fourth row of the apartment complex so th this might sound a little bit difficult now it's like what's he talking about every four floors there's a there's another floor what, what is he even on about it will make sense a lot when we actually start adding additional floors but feel free to add an entire floor here just extending from all of the stairs backwards and if you like you can even jump the gun a little bit and you can extend the quartz all the way through because it will have to extend all the way through the left side is apartments and the which is the quartz side basically like there is a dividing wall and um, you can even play a physical wall here although we may have to delete some of this but if you imagine it like this is that this right side here is going to be where all of these stairs are and one room of the apartment uh, every single floor the uh, the apartment there's going to be a bedroom on the front right corner but this entire left space is everybody's basic living space for the most part so now that we have done that we can even extend this row of grey concrete, we can extend this front to back, we can create a solid wall here as well, that there's not going to be any real glass in that particular part. On the back here, you can choose to have windows, that is a decision that we will be making later as we actually tackle each and every floor. When it comes to the back part of the apartment building, um, on the ground level, it's it's a tad little bit different really, but on the ground level, we're going to have on the right side here, two rows of glass pane, just like this, so just on the right side, separate with a row of grey concrete. Now, typically, we would have a row of glass pane here, but we're going to have some mailboxes, so we're just going to seal this up with grey concrete instead. On the left side of the building here, we are going to... Let's, let's just seal it up with grey concrete for now, but it is actually a little bit more complicated than that. So let's seal this up with grey concrete. On the front of the building, we want to have enough space for a doorway. So let's just place a smooth quartz block here. This is where a door will be. You can even place a glass block above it to kind of mark that out. We'll have two rows of grey concrete to separate like this. And then we are going to have, um, we, we want to have basically like a corner of glass. So these, this like, m these three rows on the corner, we want to be glass pane. And that's actually, it, it's pretty much that exact same design all the way up the building. So if we can place all of the glass pane just like this. That's perfect. So that's like what every single, as a matter of fact, ladies and gentlemen, this is the ground level made, which is an outlier in terms of the apartment complex. Like, it's a little bit different, just a little bit different than every other floor. So, what I would like to do now that we have made basically the ground level, is I would like to make all of the other outside parts of the apartment complex, because after that is going to be the repeatable floor part. So... Let's decorate the outside and then we can talk about the repeatable parts. First of all, I want to place a double high row of smooth quartz block on the left, back and right sides of the modern apartment complex. So this is a double high row of smooth quartz that is basically just as it is just a wall basically that's all it is there's nothing particularly fancy about it but if you did want to make it a little bit fancier a little bit of hedge wouldn't go amiss perhaps a bit of glass although on the front of the building we're going to do this we're going to place a smooth quartz block in between these two rows of the ends of the smooth quartz we're going to place a smooth quartz block here left of the gray concrete area here on the right of the glass, but, you know, grey concrete area here. In between this is going to be a big giant walkway. It's just a big open path that connects us to the apartment complex. Like this, so it's, it takes us to the apartment complex. We're also going to have a double row wide path that will lead all the way over to the right here. 
and we will have a double row wide path that will come all the way to the back of this wall as well on the right and also the left side and the purpose of this path is that it is going to frame a pool so if we destroy it's okay that that block's gone um we if we destroy all of these blocks and we also want to make a patio so this is basically just going to extend out of the back of the apartment complex basically where the gray area is here we'll destroy underneath those windows place gray concrete I also want to have a... I kind of want to connect it to the road uh, by making a street. So I'm not going to um, do all the way around the area that I've kind of like dug out. But everywhere that I've kind of dug out, and I think that this was a good time to do it, you can kind of see here. This is all going to be filled in with smooth stone, which we will be doing in just a moment. But before we do all of that, I want to destroy underneath, basically, these white concrete blocks. I'm going to replace these, turn it into grey concrete, and this is going to be for the wall. So, replace those. Upside down smooth quartz stairs, preferably upside down, like this. Smooth quartz blocks on kind of like... Actually, we'll leave it without the blocks. Um, we'll place the upside down... I am really bad at this, so we'll place the upside down smooth quartz stairs. Glass pane on top of those, on the left and right sides, just like this. And that's perfect. So, now, if we grab ourselves, we'll just get rid of the smooth quartz. If we grab ourselves the smooth stone, we will actually have sized up a good amount of the build now. So, or at least the outside of the build, I should say. The inside of the build is a little bit more complicated, and we only have one floor. But the reason that I wanted to do this, as we fill in this entire area that we've just dug out with smooth stone, the reason that I wanted to do this is because, as I mentioned, the next part, after we complete the outside, is repeatable. So I think that it's probably just easiest to keep repeating the repeatable part until you're happy. So my apartment complex is going to have in total seven floors, including the ground floor. I'll count that in. I suppose it's six floors, not including the ground level. So you though, who's actually making this, are able to make it as tall or as small as you like. And that is why we are going to be doing all of the building in bulk and you can kind of like do it as you go you can kind of figure it out like at five floors you might be like hmm five five floors that's pretty cool or maybe i want six you know you can kind of decide for yourself so now that we have all of these stone placed and by the way hopefully that gives a much better sort of like idea in your mind how this is uh, how this is pulling together we have to dig out the pool so we don't need the smooth stone anymore we're going to swap back over to the smooth quartz block and the entire pool area as you might imagine has to be dug out so, it actually has to be dug out a couple of times, but once we've knocked out this first layer, we will place the smooth quartz that is going to make the pool up. Um, then we will probably place the... I'm going to be needing that smooth, ball, smooth stone again, I knew it. So, we'll then be placing the, uh, the bottom of the pool and the ladder and all of that. So, mark all of this out. Perfect. Good size pool. The ladder is going to go here. It's, it's not here, but to the left, so like this. And we need iron bars. Iron bars, is, it just looks like railings to like, so that you can yank yourself out of the pool, basically. Some smooth quartz slabs, like this, all the way around the top, just to kind of give it a little bit of depth, just so that it's not just kind of like a hole in the ground with iron bars. And then I'm going to dig out another layer of the ball and place cyan glazed terracotta. Why cyan? I don't know. Use any glazed terracotta that you like. Or don't use glazed terracotta. Use whatever you would prefer to line a pool with. Cyan glazed terracotta seems to work for me though. Like, 
I, I always like to use the glazed terracottas when making pools, uh, especially in bathrooms, as plant pots, anything, anywhere that could use a nice splash of colour, and, and especially like when it's covered up by like water which is a little bit opaque, like, it, it just seems to make sense. So now we can just fill this with water, we could even add some lighting to the pool but that's not really necessary. It's up to you whether you want to add that detail. I ran out of materials, like, or at least spots of materials. I'm going to waterlog those stairs. Um, I'm going to fill in this little gap here as well with the smooth stone. And yeah, nice. Not looking bad at all. So the next part of this, we are going to use... What are we going to use? Barrels, oddly enough. Pods are. Lime terracotta, green terracotta, flower pots. Grab a few different flowers. So Lily of the Valley, I'm using Poppy. I'm using Rosebush. And I think that that might be up for this particular part. So all I'm going to do is I'm going to place pods all. I, I want pods all in the fr basically right behind the actual walls of the apartment complex area. I just want pods all. I'm going to use poppies to fill in the pods all. On the left side, I'm going to leave a single gap because I'm just going to have a row of barrels. I actually want the barrels to be placed upwards like this so that we can see the texture like so. But on this side, not so much. It doesn't matter. We can just place all the poppies. The reason for the barrels is, I guess, that we don't have all of our materials or it has disappeared. One of the two. I'm sure that I had it, so I, d I don't know where it's gone. I'm sure... That I I'm just blind. Okay. So, pots on top of the barrels. Lily of the Valley inside the pots. Choose your own flower. Lily of the Valley I like because, I don't know, I just really like it. I think it's got a particularly nice, uh, nice look to it. All of the rest of the grass on the front. Can't say the same for the back. All the rest of the grass on the front, I'm going to replace with fake grass. Is this necessary? No. Would I recommend it? Yes. So, let's dig out all of the grass. Just like this. And we're just going to have, basically, it's a repeating lime and then green terracotta. So, I mean, I'm doing a bad job of it right here and now, but... <laughs> So bad. So, um, just repeating rows of lime and then green terracotta. I really like how it looks together. Um, sometimes I like to stagger the rows a little bit. What I mean by that is quite simply like a couple of rows of lime terracotta, one row of green. A couple of rows of lime, one row of green. You know, three rows of lime, one row of green. Or the reverse, or maybe, you know, four or five. Like, it doesn't matter. It, But I, I quite like it like this. Or a double row of lime with one row of green. But we're getting into little semantics. It doesn't really matter too much. So, now that we have done the front, we're just going to whip around the back. The back is sort of similar. Do we have any leaves? No, but that's okay. We can deal without the leaves. Or maybe we'll even grab them later. I'm going to have a duck this time. I'm going to have a double row of pods all. Just, ju by the way, just in this corner, I should mention. The back row, rose bushes, in front of it, lily of the valley, just as a little bit of a, there we go, just as a little bit of a decoration. I just like how that goes together. Let's dig out the rest of the grass and let's make it fake. And then at the back here, I'm just going to have a little bit of a patio section. So, I know that sometimes apartment complexes, depending upon how fancy they are, I do suppose, um, they have... Apart and um, again, I'm just repeating the same fake grass. Apartment complexes, they may have a communal patio area, they may have a pool, they may have a gym. So it, it depends what you want to add back here. I'm just doing some basic stuff like I didn't want to grab too many materials. You can augment this to your own liking. But back here, going to have a table. That's scaffolding. Smooth quartz stairs, those are chairs. Uh, end rod lanterns, uh, sorry, we need pots, lanterns, and rods, stone brick wall, string, and red carpet, or any carpet, really, but basically, just in the center of the patio, we should be able to place a two by two square table of scaffolding. If we go by, if we pretend this area to the left of the apartment building doesn't exist, that's right in the middle. So we can then place chairs around it, and you can place them in such a way that they are one block away from each other. We can place a flower pot on the table and a lantern next to it. And then in one of the remaining corners, stone brick wall, end rot. And then I'm just going to place 
string. Might not even need str No, actually we would. It wouldn't work out. So string around the end rod in a square. And we kind of just want to have this like tabletop sort of little um, patio umbrella. If you wanted to, you could extend that so that it kind of covers the seats as well. But um, I actually quite like it just above the table. So, you know, it's with, just with as with everything, every single one of my builds, you know, just mess with it until you're happy. So not everything has to be like a definitive, like, oh, the, the way that I've done it's the best way. Uh, just, just do it until you're happy. Like, take the idea and be like, oh, I'd prefer if this umbrella was white and blue. You know, whatever. Like, um... See, it also looks good over the chairs, but I also liked it just on the tabletop. So, you know, shrug. So now that we have done that, and I'm very, very happy, and hopefully you guys are too, with like the outside of this, like it looks really nice, and it does look clean, and it does look modern. So the last but not least sort of thing that we're going to do just before we swiftly move on is we're going to just refloor. Oh, and we can grab the door as well. Perfect. Maybe even some lanterns just for a little bit of light. But destroy where I'm, I am destroying where I had the door. And I'm going to place some chisel quartz. And then I'm going to place the door there. So that is, of course, the entrance. And then I'm going to rip up the entire floor. And I'm going to make the floor chiseled quartz. It's not going to be on every single floor, though. Like, every single floor isn't going to be chiseled quartz. Although you can... Hey, you can actually do that, though. Like, it actually doesn't matter what you do make the floors out of. So, if we did want to, and if I hadn't already... And by the way, the gym entrance. Leave a gap of one at the end here. Destroy a row of two. This is the entrance to the gym. It's only a small gym. Like, it's, of course, only an apartment gym. So, it's not, you know... There's not too much to it. But it is a cool little gym. This kind of everything is is almost sort of like a hotel this is sort of laid out, which I suppose like apartment complexes, you know, there's not too much difference between a nice apartment complex and a hotel, except for the fact that you don't really have like wait staff and stuff to kind of like wait on you and you don't have like dining areas and stuff. But, you know, there are some sort of similarities, especially um, considering like... Uh, like, design-ish. So, now that we have destroyed all of the ground there, it is time for me to show you... It's time for me to show you the repeatable part of this tutorial. So, you want to repeat this part of the tutorial, and I'm going to say this now, and at the end of when this section ends, that you can repeat this as many times as you want, but we are only going to be going through it the once, but you can repeat this as many times as you like. Okay, for this part, we need grey concrete, smooth quartz block, smooth quartz stairs, smooth quartz slab, oak planks, glass pane, and glass block. So, for every single level of the apartment complex, I would recommend starting on the front left-hand corner of the build. It's actually where we started all the way back when. Begin by placing four smooth quartz blocks on top of each other. One, two, three, four. Place eight upside down smooth quartz stairs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's going right, of course. Place a gray concrete, extend it down to the ground, and then extend it to the right by five. One, two, three, four, five. Join that down to the ground as well. Then extend the gray concrete all the way backwards and join it down to the back corner of your apartment complex. Extend the grey concrete across and join it down to the other corner of the apartment complex. Extend a row of grey concrete forwards like this in front of the row that you've just made. And when it comes to the back of the apartment complex, there is a window. It's actually a small little window here. So we want to take the top of this row and extend it to the right one, two, three, and then down. Extend across the bottom to the left by two, creating a small two by two gap. And then we can fill all of the right of this in using smooth quartz block like this. And then we can extend a row of smooth quartz all the way forwards like this. So we can fill in this entire area using the smooth quartz just like so. 
When it comes to the rest of the back of the apartment complex, all we have to do is add in a row of grey concrete here. So on the left, we want to leave a gap of one, vertical row of grey concrete, and then fill this gap in using glass, and also the same on the right. One is bigger than the other, of course. Oh, we should also fill this in with glass as well, this little window here. And then... On the right side of the modern apartment complex, we want to have... If we just... If we actually just start off by filling the entire thing in using grey concrete, just like this. And then we want to... On the front of the apartment complex, we want to have a... It's basically the reverse of what we have over there. So, on the left, we want to leave a gap of one and a vertical row of grey concrete. Then add another row of grey concrete over here on the right. Place glass pane in the left side. Destroy the corner row and the one behind it and fill in this area using glass pane just like so. Like this. And we will leave it at that just for now. On the left side, we want to... Oh, and also, when you get to every floor, it might be easier if you add a row or several rows of grey concrete, kind of just connecting the front and the back of the apartment complex together. So just on the left side, if you connect it front to back like this to make this wall. And then we want to add the actual like this is a balcony so if you want like you can mark this out you can use some glass pane this is a balcony and we want to add a wall it's going to be the fourth row so on the balcony we only really need like a gap of two so it's one two three the fourth row here we're going to add a vertical row of three oak planks Leave a gap of two, one, two, three oak planks like this. And then a gap of three, one, two, three. And on the right side here, we are going to add oak plank. So you can see it's basically the same thing that we have down below. We're going to join the oak planks together here on the left side. We're going to place a glass of block connecting the right side together just at the top. Smooth quartz slabs across the top of kind of like the entrance slash exit area, just like so. And then that's basically it. If you want, you can add like kind of like some glass pane on the left and right side. Like you could even make it look as though it's kind of got like a sliding door like this. And then you can like leave one part open. But it's kind of up to you artistically what you want to do with that. It might be easier for us to now, and by the way, I, I mentioned earlier, like, it doesn't matter what you use for a floor, so, um, just to show you that, we can use chiseled quartz block, like this, for the entire floor, so, every single time you kind of, like, get to this point, it would be easier if you just, just fill in the floor for the next part, so, do bear in mind, though, if it is going to be the last floor, then it is going to be the roofing material, and you may want a different roofing material, say, than chiseled uh, chisel quartz block, you might think that, I don't know, I think that that looks a little bit weird for a roof, but maybe I'm just insane, I don't know. So, now that we have that, that's perfect. So, you can see that we are almost there, we have almost made an entire level, but we are missing but one thing. There is a small balcony here on the right side of the build, and the way that we're going to build it is we're going to use smooth quartz slabs, and we're going to take the corner of every single floor, like where the floor is, where the balcony is, follow it over to the right, take the corner of the build, place three smooth quartz slabs, one, two, three, extending right, Go back by five, one, two, three, four, five, and then join back to the actual apartment complex. Gray concrete here along the bottom. This is how we get in and out of the apartment building, by the way, or at least this is how you get like in and out of the bedroom, which the balcony is linked to. So uh, you just destroy these two glass pane here. There will be a wall here somewhere. I'll, we'll figure that out later. And there will also be a doorway that leads you back into the main apartment. So we can then place glass pane extending from the little, uh, from basically from the window that we have on the front we can extend it all the way around and outside of the smooth quartz slabs and we can join it back to the the wall there and there she goes that is all you need to know for making each individual floor hopefully i've made that quite easy to follow if not 
just rewatch that part over and over again until you've kind of like got it for yourself. But hopefully that's actually quite easy to uh, to just keep repeating for yourself over and over and over again. Now I am going to make five additional floors, and I'm going to be coming back once I have actually done that, and then I'll show you how to decorate the individual rooms of our apartment complex because we have a lobby to do we have a gym to do we have to know how to connect all of these floors together using stairs and then we have the individual apartments to do so we will be we will be decorating all of that once we have all of our floors complete so like i said five more for me that'll make seven in total and then i'll be back here we are, ladies and gentlemen, I have added all of those additional floors to my apartment complex, and it is a reasonable high. I'm quite happy with it in terms of the other builds of my city, but of course, if I wanted to, I could build it as high as Minecraft would allow me. Once you yourself are in the position where you don't want to make any more floors, you're quite satisfied, we can now move on to the staircases, the lobby, and the gym. So, let's start that. We're going to begin by grabbing grey concrete, bookshelves, smooth quartz stairs, lanterns, weighted pressure plate, birch trap door, flower pots, any flower, and paintings. I'm going to head inside. Our primary focus to begin with is going to be here, the lobby area. So I figure a fancy modern apartment building would have a fancy modern desk slash reception slash what are you doing, you don't live here sort of area. So to make that, we're going to just right of the door here, place one, two, three, four, five grey concretes. Gap of one. Against this wall, place a grey concrete. Extend the grey concrete upwards and place a row of two by three bookshelves right of the grey concrete. We're going to place a smooth quartz stairs in the centre here. A painting. We're going to place a lantern for light on top of the bookshelf and also probably on this corner here too. And we're going to have what looks like a laptop. So that's just going to be a heavy pressure plate. Birch trap door, and if you like, you can even add a painting to it as well if you want to make it fancier. Flower pot on the desk, orchid in it, and then you've got a nice fancy little sort of like reception area. We are then going to add some stairs. So the stairs are going to be starting from this corner here. I think that that's probably the best way to do it. Place three upside down smooth quartz stairs, one, two, three, extending from this wall. We're going to, honestly, we're going to need also the smooth quartz block and also the beehives for this part as well. We're then going to place two smooth quartz block, one, two, and then a smooth quartz stair on the end. On top of the block, so you can see three upside down stairs, two block of quartz, smooth stair, and then now we're going to start extending these stairs upwards. So we'll extend this up and we can dig into the ceiling. And the final stair is going to... We're going to have to destroy a smooth quartz and we're going to have a final stair here. So these are the stairs leading us up onto the next level. We're going to have a smooth block of quartz here just to kind of like fill in this area. And then we're going to have beehives. Now the reason for the beehives is they sort of somewhat look like letterboxes because they've kind of like got a handle on them. And if you like, you can use signs to decorate them further and further accentuate the fact that that's what they sort of look like. Gotta use your imagination a little bit. So, as we come up onto the next level, because that's the lobby area pretty much done, I mean, there's other things you can do to augment this area, you know, you can add paintings here and there, you can add, add lanterns, like, you know, wherever you uh, might feel like you want to add them, but at the end of it, I mean, this is pretty much the end of the area, we might even add a little bit of carpet later, weighted pressure plates, if they didn't make so much racket, I would use those instead, but we'll probably decorate this a little bit later, maybe add a rug or some sort of runner, so... Now, we can come up onto the next level, and this is going to be repeatable. So, I'm only going to show you this once because, you know, we're going to be doing this time and time and time again, as many times as we need to. So, so right next to where the stair hits the floor, we're going to place one, two, three, four grey concrete. Gap of one, place another grey concrete. This grey concrete is going to extend left and right. This is going to form the wall of the bedroom. So you can actually extend this grey concrete 
up towards the ceiling if you like. The purpose of this gap here is so that we're able to place a smooth block of quartz. We will still be able to get up and downstairs. We have enough room. And we will be able to add another set of stairs. So one, two, three. And we can just destroy the smooth... Uh, we can destroy the smooth quartz as necessary. Or actually, it's chisel quartz. My bad. And this is the stairs. Unfortunately, the stair we I, I would have liked it if we could have upside down stairs, but we can't because we we just simply wouldn't have enough room. That will give us enough room to walk up and down. If you like, you can completely make this a column, so you don't really have to see the stairs. And then you would, of course, go all the way up. If you want to make it a little bit easier on yourself, you can even destroy these four rows, and you can kind of like extend them up and up and up, and you can extend them through your entire apartment building just like this and then all you would have to do is just make sure that you leave a gap of one and then you can make the walls for your bedrooms like as you go all the way up you just need enough room to walk around this row of four and then you repeat the process over and over and over again and um, hopefully you guys have uh, have kind of taken that on board that's that's all you've got to do for every single level of your apartment building that's that's kind of just how it works that's all there is to it so that's how you make the stairs that is the lobby area. Now, I actually do have some red carpet on me, so I think I'm just going to add that little bit of a runner down here to the lobby. So just here, and the, the reason just here is it just looks a little bit empty. I, I quite like it just with this. Um, we even have doors, so we can add like a double door to the gym. We have signs. I know we've got them, so we, if we wanted to, we could have like... You, we can just literally just have like gym row out. It's, it's completely up to you, you know. If, if you want, you can... Again, imagination, but, you know, one, two, three, four, five, six, you know, depending upon how many floors you have. Funnily enough, the amount of beehives slash letterboxes that I have here is equal to the amount of uh, floors that I actually have. So, you know, you can label them all out if you like individually. This is the gym, however. So, now that we've kind of, like, figured out the stairs, we've figured out the lobby, I want to do the gym. So, the gym isn't too difficult. We're actually going to start by adding a bit of a floor to the gym. It's made primarily using blue concrete. So, blue concrete is going to be used for the center of the gym floor. So, I want to have a border of... I'd, don't ask me why I want to have a border. I'm actually considering getting rid of it. Um, I, I wanted to maintain a border of chiseled quartz, kind of like around the outside, kind of showing that the blue floor is almost sort of like a mat. So that's, that's kind of why I'm kind of keeping it in here. But anyway, so for... The, the first thing that we've got to do, which is tricky, is we want to make treadmills, which requires levers, iron trap door, blackstone slab. We'll also need the quartz block. We need the smooth quartz stairs. We need item frames. And we will need... Where is it? Why am I... Oh, we'll also need some glass pane as well. So, for the treadmills, they are going to be placed number one. There's going to be one here, all the way over here on the left. It's actually going to start here in this corner, and we'll have one here on the right. And we just want to start off by placing... Oh, this is going to be tricky too. We want to have a smooth quartz... No... No, no, I'm going to have to destroy a wall, I can see that. So, we're, what we basically want to have is we want to have a smooth quartz block with a backwards, there we go, that's okay, with a backwards smooth quartz stair on top of it, just like this. That's perfect, so that's how the treadmills want to start. We want to have two blackstone slabs extending from the smooth quartz of the treadmill. And we want to have iron trap doors here on the left and right sides. Now, now where this is tricky is that we've kind of got to just dig underneath them and we've got to power them. So, um, I don't know if there's a better way of powering them than this, but, you know, you can kind of, like, decide that for yourselves. I don't think this will trigger both of them because bedrock... No. Okay, so we have to go underneath the actual chiseled quartz and we have to power them with levers or levers. It really doesn't matter what you call them, honestly, as long as you... There we go, perfect. And that is... That is that. That's all there is to it. Then, item frame, white stained glass pane. Very, very happy with that. Simple, decent-looking treadmill. If you want, you can even have the trapdoors go all the way to the back. Um, but again, that's that's more of a personal preference. Um, I get... <laughs> 
We'll do it. We'll do it. We'll do it on this one and we won't do it on that one and we'll see how much of a difference it makes. So we've got to go underground again. We can destroy the blue concretes underneath here and we'll have to destroy this here. So it'll be my bad. It'll be these blocks and these blocks and we just want to stick these underneath to power the trap doors. Nice, and yeah, there we go. They're all they're all propped up. Item frame, glass, perfect. So there we go. We've got two nice looking treadmills. To add, I want to add something in, in between the treadmills. I want to add a TV on the wall, just because it seems as though that's what I would want there if I was on the treadmill. I don't want to be paying attention to running or walking. So for the TV, I yeah, that, that'll do. That'll be just fine. So just in between them like this. Um, on the floor in between them, I figure some like yoga mats or some maybe we can use pressure plates for this yoga mats or maybe some i don't know you, whatever your interpretation might be some sort of like weightlifting mat or something that you might just want to stand on i don't know something like that just on the floor kind of looking look like beds i mean white carpet would probably be preferable but they, we'll, we'll use the pressure plate it uh, it doesn't connect to them. The pressure the, the pressure plate's probably not a good idea. I just wanted like a bit of a different texture, that's all. So now that we've done that, um, against this wall here, I figure like a little um, a little weight, like either a kettlebell, kind of like a little dumbbell um, set or bench to kind of just rest things on. So that's two upside down, back to back, um, back to back stairs. And skeleton heads sort of sort of look like big balls of like metal something like kind of like iron you know that it, something that you just use to lift basically so you know it just it just sort of looks like something like not anything specific but if you use your imagination it kind of looks like something so we're going to have a punching bag this is going to be a chain with a couple of red shulker boxes just um, extended down from the ceiling this is just next to the entrance i want to have kind of like a weightlifting bench this is going to be right next to this and that's going to be an upside down quartz stairs we're going to have i don't have slabs for some reason maybe we could use iron trap doors instead i mean that might still look good um so a couple of those and then like a smooth quartz step on the end. Or maybe we could just use one. Maybe we don't have to. Maybe just one like this sort of looks like a bench. And then um, we want to have tripwire hooks. Either side of this it looks as though that you could um, stick like a barbell up here. Um, we can use, once again, we can use the carpet as well. Just to kind of like um, look as though it's... There we go. It just kind of looks a little bit more like a bench this way. Um, in the corner, we can even prop up something that looks a little bit more like a barbell as well, just like a couple of end rods stacked on top of each other. I mean, maybe that's what even these are. Maybe these are just like weight plates to go onto this. I mean, unfortunately, it this does work on Java. You can stick them on the ends, but it does not work on... Unless, maybe, I, maybe if I crouch... No, uh, you can't stick them on the end in, in Bedrock, but eh, what, what can you do? If you want to open up the lighting in this area a little bit, like you've got plenty of space to add some windows, like here and here, that's kind of like equidistant away from each other, that looks all right. You could even do the same thing, just like up above the treadmills next to, um, or just, just like completely in between, so like here, like this, and here. There we go, that's perfect. Um, if you want, you can even add some paintings around the little gym as well. So this is going to be tricky now that I've added the the head, so it, it, it might not even be worth it, but I was kind of... <laughs> no. <laughs> okay, hang on. So I was kind of thinking, I don't know why, any sort of humanoid would look good. That sounds like a weird thing to say. Any sort of human-looking painting like this, or even Pinocchio, you know, it, it sort of looks like... What did I just say, Pinocchio? <laughs> it sort of just looks like, you know, maybe like a poster, whether it's motivational or what have you. If you want even more lighting, then we can whip out a lantern here. And honestly, nice little simple gym. It's not going to be the most, um, you know, it's not going to be the most stacked out place in the world. It's just got a little bit of weight, it's a little bit of cardio machines, and it's, it's just, I think, pretty good for an apartment gym. So that's the lobby. That's the gym. We have figured out the stairs. We've done the entire outside, which leads leads us on to it leads us on to the actual apartments that's right 
So, I'm going to need to gather a whole new set of materials to make the apartments. We're not making them that fancy, we're just making them quite and simple, nice and generic. We're going to make them look good from the outside especially. And um, I'll show you everything that we need to make those apartments in just a second. Okay, so... For this next part, we are going to be using all of these materials right here. However, I'm going to recommend that you probably don't want to use the same colors for every single apartment. You may want to mix and match some stuff, but just as a base, we're going to be using these sorts of materials. And of course, you can swap out the tarot carters and the different kinds of banners and beds and stuff as you see fit. But this is going to be another repeatable section of the video, and it's going to be the final section. We're going to start off by needing oak doors, oak signs, lanterns, gray concrete, light gray concrete, cauldrons, furnaces, smooth quartz stairs, and and also some light gray shulker boxes. So the first thing that we've kind of got to do is make an entrance into the apartment. It it's actually doesn't matter too much, but I'm thinking just like a single entrance just here, leave a gap of one between this wall, of, otherwise you're gonna kind of like break things a little bit. Just a single entrance and we can have just a door. So you can mark each apartment level if you like, just with like a one, two, three, four, five, you know, just count up all of the, um, basically just count up all of the floors and we can even have like a little lantern just to kind of like shine over. So let's crack open this door and let's take a look at what we've got. So this is the inside of the apartment so far. We've got to split it into a few different rooms. Left of this window here, we want to have a row of one, two, three, four gray concrete. Left of this, oak door, and then a row of gray concrete extending left, just like this. So we're then going to raise up the gray concretes until they are as high as the ceiling, like this. And we're going to cover them up above the door. So this is where the bathroom is going to be. This is kind of like a joint kitchen slash dining area ish it's it's quite a small apartment like it's not that homey in here and we also have a bedroom so for the bedroom like this is hang on where is it there we go so for the bedroom i uh oh my bad have we there we go we can we can get in the bedroom now it's the bedrooms are quite small as well so the bedroom entrance is directly to the right here so like it's quite easy to find it's directly to the right like left of where we have the balcony area and now that we've kind of like figured out all of the rooms we can start adding a little bit more detail to this area so left of the bathroom door i'm going to place a light gray concrete furnace leave a gap of one above this smooth quartz stairs I'm going to have a couple of light grey concrete extending from the furnace here to the wall. Light grey concrete, cauldron, light grey concrete, like this. I'm going to have a set of light grey shulker boxes to match the cabinets down here. These are supposed to be um, cupboards. So if we want, we can also have like a lantern here just to light things up. Like it doesn't require too much light to actually get this place uh, rolling. Um, we also want to have a fridge freezer so that's block of iron buttons detector rail brewing stand flower portrait wire hook weighted pressure plate bookshelves red carpet so what this is basically for is number one detector rail that goes on top of the furnace we want to have a brewing stand and a flower pot here just on the counter space somewhere so cooker coffee machine or kettle cups um, the cauldron is a sink, weighted pressure plate kind of looks like a draining board of some sort. Um, two blocks of iron on top of each other with buttons is the most simplest fridge freezer that one could ever make. Um, the carpet is basically just for a little tiny square rug, it's, it's just here, it's just to add a splash of colour, that's all we're doing. You can even add buttons to the light grey concrete, uh, to the light grey concretes and those kind of like make cupboards. Against this wall here, like, it, it's kind of up to you how you want to lay this place out, but, like, we can have, like, a bookshelf here, just against this wall, or alternatively, like, an another idea is that you can, if, if you're not bothered about a bookshelf, or you can kind of, like, have two in one, you can have, like, a couple of bookshelves, and then you can have, like, a couple of smooth quartz stair here, and, or, again, Let's, let's just do one. A couple of smooth quartz stairs, and then you could have a television, which, I mean, you guys know how to make a TV. Just a couple of, a couple of concrete here, uh, and then here, like, a, <laughs> how did, how did I just ruin that? So, 
a couple of concrete grey black concrete spatter with a painting on it and bookshelves underneath it kind of looks like a multi um, a multi-purpose sort of thing now so we've got a TV and we've got this or if you wanted to you could have like a smaller area you could just have one seat you could have just a single little TV and then you could have say like scaffolding as well so that could be multi-purpose, like you could sit at this like as a dining table, you could use it as an actual side table, you could, you know, there's multiple things. So it's, it's up to you kind of like how you want to lay it out and on top of the TV, maybe we could even place like a pressure plate, although that looks a little bit dumb. So, you know, you kind of got a few different layout options. It's a small area, so it's, you probably won't have to get too creative. Um, against this wall here, I like the idea of just having like a uh, glazed terracotta of any kind, flower pot, and I like bamboo for some reason, but again, any will do, and a painting. So this is kind of like the entrance hall, so we can have like a purple glazed terracotta, and we can have like, you know, some sort of nice plant here. Um, I want to have like a two by one painting, something like this will ju be just fine. And this is kind of like what you're greeted with as you walk in. If you like, you can have like a tripwire hook next to the door, and that's kind of just like a key rack of some sort. You you could even have an armor stand, but we're getting into the point of where we're a little bit cluttered if we keep continuing. So now that we've kind of like sorted all of this out here, and again, hopefully I've given you some options, some different things to think about, hopefully. Uh, let's move on to the bathroom. So the bathroom is very, very simple. So the bathroom, I've basically just got, and let's, what do we need for this? So smooth quarter stairs for the bath. We need the trip pie hook, that's for the faucet. Flower pots always make sense in bathrooms. Lantern, we need the scaffolding. For the toilet, cauldron, oak trap door. Banner is going to be a uh, for the towel and paintings as decoration as always. So in the corner here, basically, trip by hook, this is the faucet. So around this, we can make a bath, which can just simply be free, upside down smooth court stairs. In the corner, cauldron. Uh, oak trap door that can simply be the toilet if you are absolutely 100% needing a sink in here probably this is the place for it here so a, another cauldron with a trip by hook but that's that's only if you need that it's up to you um, a red banner next to the the bath will serve as a towel flower pot or even a couple of them kind of like shampoo bottles or you know whatever the case might be whatever that you, you might think that they are um if we have, we can hang a light in here as well. Maybe even just above the door would be good. And then it's not kind of not in the way. And then we can have kind of like a painting in the middle of this wall. A two by one actually fits perfectly well. Ah, that, that one will actually do. Yeah, just, just like right here. It's still a little bit grim in here. So you may want to open up a window here. Um, if we use frosted glass, like I... It, it's up to you how you want to fill this in, whether you even want to add this window. It doesn't make a massive amount of sense um, because you wouldn't really have a window into a bathroom unless it was kind of like frosted glass or if you had like a blind or something. But it's so dark in here that, you know, I'm willing to make the exception for it. So I'm, I'm quite happy with how this has turned out. I mean, it's a small little bathroom, but it's a small little apartment. Maybe I'll have to make a luxury apartment building at some point. But that's kind of like how you can lay the bathrooms out. Feel free to mess about with them, chop and change them as you will. You could even have a little bath mat as well in the form of carpet so um, carpet just kind of like edged around the corner around the entire bath actually here would do just fine oh I mean also there is the also the option of here as well like if if you if you weren't bothered about like logic being like you know it'd be a little bit weird if people from the hospital can see in and watch a shower and then you can add all or have a bath rather you can add glass paint all the way around the edge of this area if you wanted to as well uh, a similar sort of thing goes for here but it, we're kind of getting into like if you if you are absolutely having light trouble then you can add windows where where you would like them you know you can wherever whatever spare wall you have you can just add the windows so that's going to be something that you decide as you as you kind of like go on and as you build it and as you kind of like um, mess about with the apartment building so um, yeah I'll, I'll leave that up to your imagination so now let's go into the bedroom which I would like a door on so let's chuck a door did we yeah we've got one on the bathroom as well thought I might have forgot that Bedroom. Mega, mega simple in here. Insanely simple. Bed. Painting. Lantern. Scaffolding. Chest. Bookshelves. Maybe even tripwire hook. So, in here, you know, we at least, at least need a bed. Yeah? A bed. 
We can have a double. We can have bookshelves along the top of this if we wanted to. We could even build it in kind of like this. You could have a double bookshelf above this and then you could say use grey concrete to kind of like fix it in a little bit. You could have a side table which is a scaffolding and a lantern. You can have a chest in the corner as kind of like, you know, as storage for clothes or what have you. You could have a tripwire hook that can be a, a similar sort of deal, like, you know, for clothes or anything that you might be able to imagine. Um, if you wanted to, you can use shulker boxes as well as additional storage. But honestly, like, the, the bedrooms are, like, this is purposefully quite simple. It's, it really is. Like, it's purposefully quite simple. It's not meant to be the biggest bedroom. It's, it's a tiny room. You could even have a TV on the wall here if you wanted to, just above the door with, you know, I mean, you could... As, as you were sleeping, what you're like, you'd be, like, sat up and you'd actually be able to perch up and actually watch that. You can have, like... I mean, it, you could have kind of like a combo. So you could have the chests on top of uh, bookshelves and that kind of looks like some more stuff. It depends how crowded you want it to get to get in here, but just mess about with the materials and you should hopefully be able to find something that's quite satisfactory. Like, you're probably going to want to make every room just a little bit different. Or not. It, it's, com it's honestly so up to you. Um, the outside of the balconies, uh, both of them, both both sides of the balcony, like the front and the right side balcony, each want to have a little bit of decoration as well. So, for this little balcony, I'm thinking, it. Th this is very, very simple. A chair, so that's, you know, a stair. Uh, glazed terracotta, that's going to be a flower pot with oak leaves. Scaffolding, and maybe a furnace. We might not even use the scaffolding, so I'm thinking, a seat... Yeah, maybe just a seat, a furnace, and glazed terracotta with a little bit of leaf on it. And that's all there is to it. Maybe we even want to light this area up, maybe like above here. You could even turn like the top of the furnace into a grill using a rail. And hey presto, you've got kind of like an interesting sort of outdoor. Equally so, you could have like a, a scaffolding in the middle, you could have like a little seating area. Um, you know, cycle through different ideas. You Again, maybe make each balcony a little bit different. So maybe like make this one. That's the wrong material. Maybe make this one what I was just talking about. Like, you know, mix and match. Even You can even, like, turn the chairs out. You can even have, like, this. Like, again, you know, just make it a little bit different and you'll probably... It'll probably look a little bit better for it. So, you're going to want to decorate the side balconies. And when it comes to the front balconies as well... So, th the front balconies I actually designed to be, like, a little bit more, like, of a seating area. Because you've got more room. But it, it doesn't matter. Like, you could literally... If you wanted to, just a couple of furnaces here or maybe like a furnace and then maybe like an upside down stair so it's like a little mini barbecue got a rail here and then you could use um you could use i don't have item frames for some reason but i mean does this make sense does that look sort of weird but you know i mean that could be a cooler or something i guess but an item frame with some food in it wouldn't look amiss we could even have like a lantern hanging above here in the corner we could have a scaffolding we can have like a little bit of a seating area we could even have that over here we could have like a little seating area with food um you could have we can have a potted plant in this corner here instead like you know what i mean like it, it's it's really so so malleable like you you can kind of just sort of do whatever you like to it i mean you can even add a little bit of carpet out here as a little bit of decoration and i i would highly recommend just making every single one of them just a little bit different that's all you got to do you just got to make them a little bit different so uh that that's pretty much it ladies and gentlemen i think that i've given you I think I've given you a good idea on how you can decorate each individual apartment. I think I've shown you how to make all of the steps in making the apartments as well from like top to bottom and that's 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 sort of it. So yeah. So this is what your apartment building will look like once it has been 100% fully completed ladies and gentlemen i hope that you are as happy with it as i am i'm pretty happy with the finished resort here i think that this is a nice luxury modern apartment complex that will look really cool in your cities if you enjoyed this tutorial please do remember to hit that like button as it helps me in the channel out very very much subscribe if you're new around here click that little bell next to the subscription button that'll ensure that you get all of my videos sent directly to your sub box 
And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the card system, description below, and the top of the comment section for the City Builds playlist. Your best friend. Or at least it's my best friend. Maybe even my only friend. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all very much. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.